Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Famous Ish. Hi. Hey, hey. We are coming at you. We had the opportunity to have a little bit of a one night staycation. That's what it's called when you're staying in your own town, right? Yeah. So, oh. you know, we're from Vegas. So, we're staycation. here staying in one night in a hotel room with a beautiful view of the Las Vegas Valley. It is nice. It's it is nice. nice. Vegas is a great uh, city to have views of because you see the whole city and then you see the mountains that we're surrounded by. And... Well, it's okay during the day, but. <laughs> yeah, at night you can't see the mountains. But at night it's gorgeous. It's, there's, the wind has blown off a lot of the smoggy type, hazy stuff we get in the valley sometimes. So it's a beautiful day. Yeah, the mountains are. Oh. Nice. Clean room. Good view. No we, cat we, hair. I was going to say, no cat hair except for on our microphones. Yep, we brought <laughs> the cat hair with us. But we've only been gone like an hour, which I've been gone more than an hour before. Yeah. And I'm already missing the cat. It's like I hit my neat uh, ankle on just something on the ground, and it felt just like when Munchie reaches out from under the bed and like grabs your feet. And oh. I just thought, first thought was Munchie, and he's not here. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're never going to be able to go camping at this rate. Yeah, missing the cats. I do miss oh, yeah. the cats. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Good. Sunday, it's a weekend. You guys will be listening to this on Monday, but... Awesome. For us, it's been an eventful New weekend. And awesome. We had a birthday party, a family birthday party yesterday. My niece, Camden's yeah. cousin, turned 13. Mm-hmm. And we had a lot of fun. It was a blast. Yeah. As always. And we had in and out. We had in and out It was our first red meat of 2022, which is abnormal for us. Cam says she could do without. She doesn't care for yeah. red meat that much. But Wayne and I, Wayne grew up in Texas. I grew up on a cattle ranch. We grew up with beef all the time. Definitely not anti-beef. No. So, so it was kind of weird. We had in and out which was delish. It was really good. Mm-hmm. Animal style. Animal style fries. Animal style. Mm-hmm. And that she had head. ice cream cake. <laughs> yeah. A good animal impression, babe. Thank you. And so we had that. And then we had our patron live stream yesterday as well, which is always really fun. There it was go. fun. It was fun. It's always a good time with the patrons. Mm-hmm. It's not Whataburger, but it's good. I passed out before and after. We were tired. Yeah. I'm not used to doing much. No. I do need to ask. This will have to be a podcast question later. Or just something so I can ask for advice. Our little nibblings, my little niece and nephew, they're twins. They're eight. And they love those little, like, sleight of hand tricks or goofy tricks. Yeah. Like, weird things, you know, like where you push your hands in the doorway and then your arms float. Or you make it look like your thumb is being, you know, torn Mm -hmm. off. They love those little, like, visual tricks. And yeah. so at the end of the party, we were all doing those, but they kept saying, more, more, give me more. So if anyone has any good little tricks to do <laughs> on fun. elementary school age children, let us know because the they arm were one still it. gets me. The arm one. This thing is arm crazy. Link. If we ever had a video of me the first time I did that thing, <laughs> it would have been viral. <laughs> it would have been because you, you scream. <laughs> we were in the middle of a target. <laughs> and they were like, oh, no, no way. And then you're like, <gasps> yeah, this was the TikTok trend like five years ago where you put your arm out and you put your fingertips on the wall and then you put your arm back and you rub your elbow and then you put it out again and it's magically like three inches shorter. And it just blows my mind every time. Still don't get it. Wayne, say something interesting. Something interesting. Oh, nice. What? What did you expect? What do I do for a living? No, that's true. I, um, oh, nope, got nothing. Uh, we have been uh, doing tennis. I did, like, wake up one day with a, like, pinched nerve in my upper gluteus maximus or my lower back Upper gluteus maximus. Gluteus. I like my upper butt. Gluteus? My upper butt muscle. A pinched nerve. And so I'm, like, not playing up to my tennis game, but we have gone out and played tennis and had some good... Hurts. It does. I'm having a little bit of issues, so I'm, I'm it resting hurts. it for a couple of days. Uh, You're resting on it. Camden is going to have an exciting week next week. She gets to tour another college campus here in Las Vegas. Yeah. Whoop. She got word that her high school dipo- diploma is ready and raring to be picked up. Yeah, I got accepted to one college. Yeah, UNLV. She's got her college acceptances. Mm-hmm. And 
She got invited to prom. Yeah. In April. So Camden's living the life. Yeah. Yeah. The life. Nice. She's had a good live stream. She's had really good live streams. I started Pokemon Arceus. Ooh. Which is insane. I can't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I pre-ordered this game. Exactly. You pre-ordered it so you get a little free plush, correct? Yeah. I mean, really, you pre-ordered it not just for the game, but you're like, if I order well, it, no, I'll also get a for plush. the game though, because I was really excited for it, and then it came out, and I think I was doing school, like I think I was really busy yeah. with school, and then I didn't play it. At I the think beginning. it came out when you were getting ready for summer school, possibly. Oh, was that right? So yeah, was, summer school was really uh, advanced, time consuming, accelerated too. So, yeah. so I couldn't, I couldn't play it, and then. It came out, like, January 28th of last year oh, or okay. something like that, and I never played it until yesterday. Well, yesterday, Camden's cousin, he's on a Pokemon kick, and he's obsessed with Pokemon, oh, so maybe that had some influence, yeah. so he was constantly talking about Pokemon. My other cousins also talked about it. Yeah. I said I should stream it. No, you should stream it. Yeah. I should. Uh, we also were able to score a Pikachu Squishmallow, giant Pikachu Squishmallow. It is Squishmallow so from cute. Target. We need Gengar. I know, and there's also coming out with a Togepi <sighs> and a Snorlax, and then later on in the year, those are coming out in March, and then later on in the year. That's just what we need. <laughs> giant know. stuffed I animals know. for wait, our house. So wait, wait, wait. Cute. Who else? Uh, was it <gasps> Togepi? The Togepi, Togepi's we need. Adorable. We the need Togepi. Togepi is a must. Like I would have thought, the Snorlax was going to be the cutest thing, but the Togepi, Togepi. is perfect squishmallow shape. I may just yeah, stay yeah, Kate yeah. here the whole time. Wayne, what if we just brought? What if you checked into a hotel and you were carrying like ten squishmallows with you? Would they think <laughs> you're insane? I should have brought the squishmallow. Yeah. Dang it! <laughs> Could have cuddled in in my bed with a squishmallow. My Mushmallow addiction. Mushmallows. Squishmallows. I think they were sued by Squishmallow, so only one survived. How did you see the ones that are coming? I'll find I'll find it. I can send you the article. Oh, oh, oh. Pokemon Snorlax and Togepi Squishmallows revealed. Yes. Six days. Pip Lup! Yeah, Plip Lup and uh... Pip Lup! Oh my god, we need them all. <laughs> They're hard to get. So these are... Husband slash father for rent. Yeah, Actually, he's good, like good, good to new home. We have no room for man in the house. It's only it's full of squishmallows. <laughs> I'm cheap. Piplup, Clefairy, oh Teddy, or God, Clefairy's gonna be cute. Clefairy uh, and a special winking Pikachu. Yes, those come out later in the year. So send money. Must buy squishmallows. Camden's face. Piplup, Piplup, Clefairy. Yeah, Clefairy's gonna be cute. Come on. Clefairy uh, and Togepi. Togepi's a must. Togepi. Togepi is a must. Togepi's a must. We obviously are lame people with not very many cool hobbies. Yep. I mean, our hobbies. I mean, we have cool hobbies. We'll talk about our hobbies later and try to get you guys to try out some of our hobbies. But we asked everyone to just convince us to do your hobby or tell us why you yep. like your hobby or what something like that, right? Basically, yeah. like, convince me to do your hobby in however much text you can fit in the Instagram text box, which isn't a whole lot. So we asked the followers, we asked the listeners, because I trust you people. You have good taste. You listen to us. I don't know about that. <laughs> Actually, no, way. I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, so um, you're going to give us some ideas for new hobbies, because we're basically stuck in the video game TV hobby type people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we said... Convince us to try out a hobby you have in one sentence. No one really did a sentence. Oh, well. It's fine. Who follows the rules nowadays? Yeah. Following rules is overrated. <laughs> um, oh, boy. Skateboarding. Skateboarding. Skateboarding Wayne. Wayne grew up a skateboarder. I grew up and I dated skateboarders. Camden has a skateboard. I miss skateboarding. You have health insurance now. I'm a longboard. The- Camp has a longboard. I mean, that's skateboarding. It's the perfect yeah. weather now to skateboard. Yeah. I've always been a street skater, not vert. Just, you know, jumping the stairs, running around yeah. on the sidewalks. I Skating the bank, that's always fun. Yeah. Gaps. I, skateboarding is amazing. Skateboarding is amazing. When I met Wayne, he skateboarded all the time. He skateboarded, like, to and from work. Uh, 
which like was ways after we had Camden, I'm like, yeah, if you get hurt, we don't have the money to fix you. <laughs> so no skateboarding. Well, I was, I could, you didn't let me go to the trampoline park, and now I'm, I'm too scared to cross we, the street. We were self-employed. You can't just get health insurance. Yeah. Luckily, now you can. Thank you, Obama. But back <laughs> in the old days, you couldn't. If you're self-employed, you're paying basically out of pocket for for health care. Yeah, mm-hmm. I couldn't afford to get injured. That's right. We're like, if you break an arm, we're, we're screwed. No, because Camden like... broke a collarbone, we were out $5,000. Which oh, for wow. us is a lot, but of that's money. just that's just your nature too, you know. Don't skateboard, don't jump on the trampoline, don't go outside, don't yeah. do anything that involves well, and maybe then, getting and hurt. And then my cousins, so cool, had a little trampoline park at like the YMCA or something. <laughs> and you were like, "Let's go to the trampoline park." I'm like, "You want me to die now? You want me to break my <laughs> this neck?" This was when Kendra Mother. was like 15, so it wasn't like she was a little kid <laughs> no. anymore. No, because... And her little cousin looked up to her so much and wanted her to jump on the trampolines with her. I did. And I'm out there jumping on trampolines like a boss. Camden's like, wait, this is against everything you ever told me in my entire yeah. life. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> it's my villain origin story. Skateboarding. Wayne, do you think you'll do some skateboarding this year? I think so, yeah. I was actually thinking about... I saw that video of me jumping over the water bottle in the Santa hat. I posted oh, yeah. it on my subscription. And... They kind of wanted, wanted me to get the board back out. If you were going to convince someone to try skateboarding, what would your sentence be? What's Skateboarders get chicks. Try what? skateboarding, it's right? It's a fun hobby. You get chicks. Yes, I'm saying like skateboarders like... In high school. There is a whole sure. group of people that just think skateboarders are hot. Like skater boys. Skater boys. This is what it is. It's the United States. I was drawn to the skater boy. Yeah, I was a hot skater boy. I'm so sure you skater. were. Um, you... Actually, no. You just showed me a picture of you today. You kind of saw me hot skater boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was still skating when we were met. That's true. When you were but, met. Yeah, in high school. <laughs> I don't know why. When you were it wasn't met. It for the brains, I guess. It wasn't for the brains. I don't know um, who were attracted to me in high school. I don't. It's weird. It, I, I'm I like saying it was the I'm power like, of the skateboard, what? babe. The power of the skateboard. You were not attractive in high school, but you still. If you're it. having trouble finding love, pick up a skateboard. There you go. That's a convincing them to do this and hobby. You will in get one there. Sense. There you go. Yep. What else do we got? Skate and get chicks. Yeah, that's the it's sentence. Really true. Okay, is that our very thing? unattractive guys get girls? So if we, but it's also super fun. It's the piercings, <laughs> the colored hair, the rebel. Yeah, you know. Except the difference, skater boys back when you were skater boys, gigantic pants. Skater boys now, or like ten years ago, five years ago, super skinny pants. Yeah, it's different. It's so different. I never would have thought about skating and things like that. But nowadays, I mean, I mean, like back then, I would trip over myself. The That's pants true. are so I'm saying big. the tight pants seem like a much better idea for skating. Yeah. Hmm. Crazy. Um, okay, so for all of these, are we going to make a sentence if there's not one? Yeah. Okay, if we disagree with it, we'll make fun of it. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> no. Um, Jay Casillo says, do nothing. Best hobby. And you know what? I agree with you. Doing nothing so is real. amazing. I've been really good at that one. I'm trying to do some things again or pick up some of my hobbies again because, like I said, just trying to do any little thing does help get through the days. The weird thing about me is I'm good at doing nothing and I'm really bad at doing nothing at the same time. Sorry, housekeeping decided to drop by. Housekeeping. Mini bar. The mini bar here at this hotel, like if you touch anything or if it comes off this little weighted pad for a certain amount of it's time. It's like $20. You're going to get charged. An like $20 away. for so, three m and um, We're not touching crap. We used to stay in this hotel when Camden was really little. Like we've stayed here a couple times and one of them was when Camden was quite small. And we were so paranoid. Yeah. Which she'd run and grab a thing off the little weighted Put it back! <laughs> well, if you have a kid, do they... Is it just if it comes off the thing? Uh, when we stayed here with my sister and uh, Haley was really young, yep. they requested them to remove the oh. mini bar items. Yeah, you can do that, yeah. Yeah, so that you don't accidentally pick them they, up. What they're hoping you do is you go downstairs, you gamble, you get violently drunk, come upstairs and eat all the m Violently? Vi- vi- violent? Yeah. Why do you have to be violently drunk? That's the word, violently to drunk. M&M. You're so drunk that you can't walk and you're just bleh, violently drunk. And then, and then you eat you all the eat M&Ms all the, in the mini you bar. You eat all the food and drink all the drinks in the mini bar. And yeah. then you're out you $200. And then you wake up in the morning 
because you ordered, you know, Connie or whatever for 30 bucks on TV, too. The thing is, though, and if you were drinking... That's like $200. If you were gambling and drinking all night long, those drinks were theoretically free. Yeah. So, there but you go. But like, you get upstairs, you're not thinking. You don't think straight. You eat all the food in the mini bar, you drunk dial your ex... It all happens. Why are you speaking from personal? Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. like, it you, happens. This is too... This is <laughs> all right, too I'll take your word for it. I've never done it, but i take your word Detailed. for it. Okay, Cam, what do we got next? Um, scuba diving. Oh my gosh, please convince me. Is there any sort of... There's no convincing? Is there... Any, there's a whole world under the sea. Okay, that is a pretty good reason. It makes me feel claustrophobic. See, I have megalophobia. That's like one of the worst things to do ever. I've seen what's his face up. Uh, what was that guy I used to watch that like looked for um weird things? Weird things. Josh. What's his name? Who are you talking about? The guy who said sound like Kermit the Frog. Anyways, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> that guy would go scuba diving, go to like haunted caves. Ugh. Yeah, he. Goes, Why would you do that? I don't know, dude. Was I know crazy. people go to like those uh towns underwater that are just full of dead people i'm like i mean i admit under the sea and the ocean is like one of the most incredible things to think about and horrifying but yes in terms of scale it's huge there's so much unknown Mm. it's terrifying yeah it's horrifying there uh, are like alieny creatures. Yeah. Have you seen deep sea creatures? I'm scared of the tank. Yeah, if you're so scared crazy. of spiders, they're like giant sea spiders. <laughs> I'm scared of the bends. Is that what it's called? Where you basically go down and your pressure. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm scared of. That. My head would explode. Well, but that's why my pressure's can't way explore off. Explore that far. But snorkeling on the other okay, hand. Okay, there you go. I was gonna say. I, I'm all What's over that. that. Easy mode one. Where I'm you, all like, over Just snorkeling. have the little thing that goes. Yeah. If you go into a little coral. Yeah. Okay, Hawaii. Um, we'll snorkel. Little, Give me my flippers. I'll just paddle like along. Like a fake the little top. thing. Yeah. Like a, we'll like look a, at a few clouds. Also, fish. scuba diving is too far. <laughs> I don't like to be that far away from the surface. We're wimps. Freaks I me out. I applaud you. I admit, for people who are like adventurous, I'll go in a shark cage. And you want to see everything? Like that is something to see. I would do that. Go in a shark cage. Yeah. If I'm in one place. And I'm supervised. What if, like, this shark that's, like, been on a diet, like a skinny shark, can get through the little, okay, you know, um, cage um, bars? I'll write it out. I'll what if that a... one shark that just, like, is a little midget shark? Oh, well, then, is it that dangerous? Is I don't it... know! Also... What about piranhas? Can they just chill out? You also have, cage? like, a full suit. I'm pretty sure that's oh. also... Is it not just like bars? It's like an Mom, actual the cage. whole point people don't do this is because of the what ifs. <laughs> what if when you're skydiving, the parachute doesn't work? Shush! Stop it! I'm still trying to think what of you sound like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> not saying that's um, what, Josh. That's why people are Because I remember the. What's his name? Kermit the Frog. Destination guy. True. Josh, the guy that does like the uh, unsolved uh, Earth something. Unsolved what was the mysteries. Of the show? Destination Truth. Destination. Remember, I'm they go like look up. for yetis and they have up. ghosts and they do all these things. I, never I love that show. Paid attention. I'm just Josh Gates. Say he sounds like Josh Chris. Gates. Camden looked it up. Josh Gates. I'm still thinking of you after all these years. I wouldn't have got Josh. that. Years. So no idea who that is. Kermit the Frog. Yes, he kind of sounds like that. Yeah. And you always said this guy's got a job. He's it looks better than Norm Macdonald. <laughs> Everyone knows this dude. They might watch this <laughs> show. What else do we got? MSC Wolfgang says, martial arts is literally kick-ass. Okay. Huh. I always wanted to take a martial arts class. You know I get heavy into those blood sport, John yes, Van Dam. I'll should. start watching all of them for like a week, and I'll get a punching bag. I, you should I, do it. I want to do it uh, for, uh, you know, like exercise reasons. I have a friend of mine. Would you do Taekwondo? Who was, who was a little overweight, not too bad at all, but he looks amazing now, and he oh, joined I, I Love Kickboxing. Okay. It's I Love Kickboxing. What's one? Hmm. Krav Maga. He, he, How about that one? He said it's amazing. Krav Maga. And Krav Maga is the one that I want to do. And they always have like a free lesson if you, you know what I mean, to, Babe, to get you it. into it. Krav Maga is all about self-defense. That's the Israeli yeah. self-defense. All my uh, Israeli friends told me, you know, it's something they had to learn in the army. Hmm. And it basically just teaches you how to not get hit. 
I would I to mean, get out I of situations. Don't think I could hit anything, but I think it could. Yeah, be fun. see, see, that's the thing. I'm way too much of a pacifist for this stuff. I don't want to do anything where I I'll get, get a taser hit. or something. <laughs> where you get hit. So like I did boxing or in junior high. I didn't like getting. Punched. I don't like boxing. I didn't I like, like getting the punched idea in the of head. More karate, uh, uh, taekwondo, kickboxing. Those sound way better to me. Taekwondo, than karate, maybe yeah. like anything oh, that no, has to do with like boxing. meditation. And like kind of freeing my mind, that that helps. Like, uh, yeah. what do you do in, Ro- in uh, Roadhouse? You tai Chi. Oh boy, Tai Chi. You should do it. Mm. The Reach out to who, who said and... this? Who said uh, the martial you... arts? <laughs> Reach out to them and maybe they'll be in the backyard. Do it. You should do it. No, but I, they, it's good for the mind, and I need that. Uh, I think that is a great suggestion for you, Wayne. And also. Yeah, as long as I don't get hit. I love kickboxing, you punch bags, and you as just work out. As long as you don't Basically get hit. Workout. Don't you have to get hit? Isn't that part of it? I mean, I think it's something. I don't want to get hit. Well, that's, isn't that part of it? Mm. You have to I learn how to get hit, don't you? Movements. It depends. In Krav Maga, like I said, it's like somebody has a knife on you. Mm-hmm. They teach you how to, like, <laughs> take the knife away, you know? What was that? What was that? Wayne. Duh. Okay, next that, one. What? Okay. Well, you convinced me. You convinced me that Wayne should do this. <laughs> Not, not that I should. Um, exploring you, yes. haunted places to get your adrenaline running. I don't... Who is this? Do they want to come with us? They can be a guest on our show. KJCKB. A- yeah. A-J-C-K-B. We do need people who actually believe in stuff. I can get myself really freaked out. Well, Even duh. if I, you know, like, just being in a dark place. I can get myself so freaked out in the place. kitchen, bro. In the kitchen yeah. at night at 2 a.m. I freak myself out, so... Right. Haunted places. He's saying going to haunted places. I want to borrow your VR headset and play those horror games. What? Phasmophobia? Like Phasmophobia and all the other ones. Even Five Nights at Freddy's would, I think would be super fun. You're purchasing that because I'm not. But, he will. He'll do it. <laughs> but I do that. You know we've always wanted to do the haunted place thing. When we go, we are planning a camping trip coming up in the next couple months. We'll bring a Ouija board and we'll bring... Oh, we actually... Stuff. Yeah, that's so fun. I love doing that. And stuff. we'll do we'll do oh, something, cool. and we'll let who whoever this was, AK whatever, whoever said KJ, it's boring, KJ, CKB. we'll let KJ know that we did something haunted. Is anybody me. here afraid I'm of clowns? Always no. Afraid of them? I mean, I don't find them or visually just appealing. Don't like them. Maybe visually I think, unsettling whoa, whoa, whoa. a little bit. The aesthetic is cool. We should do the clown motel. That's only cool. like forty five minutes from our house. The clown motel. There's a lot of haunted What is that? Is it just clowns? Is that supposed to be scary maybe, or is it just clowns? I think it was, I mean, like, is it supposed to be? Here, there was a lot of, you know, that type of theming. It's just supposed to be in like, an er- entertainment, it's right? Like an Themed old entertainment? It's like a crappy hotel now. Yeah, it's like run down, but they keep you it know. going because it's a tourist attraction. Yeah. They have an it room. Is I it saw so on TikTok. Okay. I say in the it room, and it has like Pennywise everywhere and like balloons. That's cool. There's a lot of mining towns near yeah. us, too, that are haunted. And... Oh, yeah. Hey, you hear about yet. those all the time on the thing. Yeah, that's it's the always haunted the mining, mining towns. Where they collapsed in. And yeah. Now Other than the room. The... And especially, they say, because of the concentration of metals in the area, oh. that it's more, you know, supernatural energy. See, I want to make sure it's safe. What's that thing I that... love to Going say to a rundown is hotel to play up to scary stuff. People who because go it's to... fun to think about. What's that thing called? The EMF detector. So they give you an EMF detector at checking out when you check in at the clown hotel motel and then when it gets nighttime there's a graveyard next door so it is supposed to be a spooky and thing. so you Graveyards leave the motel and you have to detect at the graveyard okay let's do it wow yeah plan Graveyards at some point we creepy. have talked about this we go especially you know once camden's tired of us what can <laughs> Wayne and i do we'll go look for ghosts i'm not ghosts afraid of camden's soul would you say the night what? of the haunted Stop. asylum you're lo- you're what? Would you stay the night at a haunted asylum? Hotel? Yeah, I hospital? probably would. Doesn't I probably would. Do you remember that show back... Pretty uh, scary. Do you remember MTV's Fear? Yeah. Back in the day, it was like in the late 90s, mid 90s. Yeah. I love that show. It was like the first ghost adventure. Yeah. But it was better, But it was yeah. kids. It was teenagers doing it. Oh, yeah. really? That's cool. That was a good show. It was a good bring show. Bring that back. Not bring like it back, but like, let us see the rerun. Like, you have to sit in this... What is that little morgue? What is the little morgue box? Body box? In this that. abandoned morgue for a certain amount to add money to a pool, I think. Oh, what? You had to do certain challenges. Well, oh. you have to go in this coffin. Manga, oh. photography, or Anyways. Money. Okay, what do you got here? Playing an instrument. John Romanski makes you and the others happy and you connect with people. I can, okay, we had we experienced this yesterday. 
my niece got oh, a yeah. slide. These are like uh, instruments that you know you can probably take out of the box and play. Yeah. Uh, one was a slide whistle, and it was hilarious. She was doing the whoop, yeah, whoop, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slide whistle sounds, and we were just cracking up. We were having a blast, and the other one was a uh, melodica. Melodica. So you just blow, which is basically a keyboard attached to a um, tube. Yeah, kind of accordion like, but without the without the accordion. Is that what those plastic tubes are that are connected to like the keyboard and the people are biting yeah, on it? Melodica. Oh, wah, 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 while they're yeah, melodica. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they do that on TikTok a lot. I'm like, what is the hell are they yeah, doing? Yeah, is it? So what is in their it, mouth? It's a, so it's we're asking her to learn some Christmas songs so Christmas time comes around. Yeah, Pretty she learned awesome. some songs. She was she tried to make musical. me guess some. They're musical. Yeah, yeah. So they, they did quite well. She's good. But I can say, yeah, learning an instrument, I was watching her play, and I'm like, man, I wish I was really good at this stuff. Sadly, I can't play an instrument. <laughs> Sorry. Because of, of the hearing? Yeah. I don't think like I'd be able to play the keyboard like I did back in the day because it's no. like you, not even just the the hearing of the different tones. You know, I'm tone mm. deaf for this sure. This is also another one. So like, what sounds Learn good to me to probably will not sound good to an you. An instrument really well, and you will get chicks. <laughs> so just, there you go. The bass players, the guitar players in high school. Yeah, they were always getting chicks. Hmm. Archery, Joel Reed. Archery. No sentence, just archery. I kind of want to try it, especially after watching Rambo. Archery. I watch two Rambos. If you learn archery and the zombie apocalypse comes, you're one step ahead of the game. Archery? Mm-hmm. Archery or the I um... almost took archery. Camden wanted to take archery. She I went took one, one class. And you're like, this is really hard. It's legit. It was legit. Yeah, I Camden's thought I was, I was so was... ready for it to be like a little, uh, uh, like fake little things. Yeah, like suction they cup were bow legit. and arrow. They were legit. They had the pointy things. Like you could actually learn self-defense in that class. It was insane. And it was really hard. <laughs> Our trees you liked the idea of it. Yeah, I did. You really I was going to be like um, a video game character or something. Yeah, you're, you like the idea of being, you know, Minecraft Alex or whatever. No. Katniss. Uh, it was like, uh, maybe. I don't know. Link. Yeah, Link. Link. I'm going to be Link. You skip something. Did you say origami? With a, did someone a say board? origami? That'd be so yeah, cool. Yeah, origami. Come on. You uh, the Timothy Moberg, I've tried origami. I, I'm not. I not. Like there origami. is no way ever in the history of the world you can give me professional thousand dollar lessons. I will be good How at origami. How can you follow instructions? It's like following a recipe. This it doesn't work. It does not work like that. I follow the instructions. I can't even make a paper airplane. So I'm sure it's not like I'm going to be able to make a swan dancing. <laughs> Why can't you make a paper airplane? No, my paper airplanes are bad. Wayne, okay. We have the I can episode, make a paperweight. We have the episodes that uh, we were talking about. What? The cam she do it. But we need to have the can he do it. Cause can he do it. Can he do it. Wayne's real name is Kenneth, by the way. Yeah. Can he do it. We'll make Wayne do a paper crane. Can he do it. <laughs> can he do it. So there we go. We're going to start I want to learn origami. You can make a paper crane. It's following instructions. No. He says no. <laughs> I, I have, have tried it. No. I've had origami, do origami kits. Origami. I've done it all. Chicks. <laughs> do origami and get chicks. No. Have Basically, you if you have a you hobby, do you'll the get little chicks. Hearts. The little heart origamis out of like, I've done the, uh, or the little stars out of the Starburst wrappers. I've done the hearts. Yeah, they call me origami horror origami. Exactly. Horror origami. Oh, horror. What? Horror origami. Yeah, let's do some horror. Because it's horrible. Oh, I thought you were doing horror themed. What, what else? What? Okay. Walking. Good for health and mental it, health, too. Okay, I actually yeah. love walking. Yeah, yeah. Who said this? Yeah. Uh, John Milkey. Is this? I love walking, and this is what inspired me. I just literally want to go on a walk for six months. I can't wait. I like walking around. I like walking. I like seeing how many miles like, I can walk a day. I want to get back into it. I liked walking like six, seven miles. I need I something walking. around me. What? Like, I love walking in Massachusetts. <laughs> on the trails or on a, you mean no, like no, no. a city. Like, in like like Massachusetts, city yeah, or San Francisco. Yeah, I did too. Getting out of the hotel yeah. and walking down with the big city yeah. in around you and like places you can stop I, at yeah. to get a coffee. I do that is probably. my favorite. You mm-hmm. like urban walking. Walking outside on the sidewalk? No, that's no good. I prefer like... <laughs> that's no good. The use view of fake grass bed. and fake Stay at a hotel in Chicago. It's the best walk fake. you'll ever have. Huh. San Francisco is very close. San Francisco, man, is, is intense. And also, like I said... Oh, you, boy, that was a workout. Jesus. You know, there's inclines everywhere. For what? 
Why? Why? Up and down. I didn't know they didn't want to plow. Why? The hill. They have like a whole hill you have to walk up to get to like a little shop. I, I'm, let's go back insane. to San Fran. I love San Fran. If you live in San Fran, that's like fit fit. Yeah. Because those fit. inclines are insane. Walking is a really good hobby. You yeah, it is. And it's a lifelong hobby, too. It's Walking is low impact. You can do it forever. Yeah. Theoretically, you know. Yes. Um, playing board games. Uh, yes, who will play with me? I'm playing with you. Okay, we'll play some board games. Play Monopoly. No, they're boring. I feel like board it's, it's strange games. to me that I, I married someone who doesn't like board games or <laughs> playing games, really, that aren't video games. Because growing up, my family was... We sat after dinner and we played card games and we played board games. We need a family game night. Okay, let's do family game Okay, night. we can do... What if we... Dad is on his phone. What if we... <laughs> he instantly got bored of the idea. He did. What if we had a family game night and we do board games, like we play Sorry or Monopoly or something, and then we play like Mario Kart. Okay. Okay? It's a yeah, balance. Yeah, we'll do like you have, to, uh, you have to like reward me for playing yeah, board games. it's a balance. We'll Grown play... We we'll play Smash. I like Racco. How about a poker night? You don't night? like Smash. I get excited to play Racco. How about a poker night and or like poker? a penny, penny poker type night? Yeah, there's just certain games I do not like, like Monopoly. And I probably wouldn't why like Settlers. Why do you not like And I none. definitely don't like Risk. I tried well, Risk, risk once. Risk is boring. Or, What's Risk? I like Trouble. It's that one that I like Sorry. The, get the I like Trouble. Invade I like What's Apples trouble? to Apples. There's certain games I like. Okay, you so, like the baby games that they give to fourth graders. I like Apples to Apples too, and Blocus and those other ones. So we'll, I like the Jack, Jack Party. I like Sorry. Games. Oh, Jackbox. Jackbox? Yeah, they're mm. fun. Yeah. We should do a Jackbox with the patrons. Oh my god. I don't know why you think yeah, that's a good idea. Fun. We'll get rid of Camden. Camden thinks okay. it's too cringy. No, it's not cringy. Humanity. It's really inappropriate. You have to be inappropriate. That's part of the game. You do. You, you do. do have to be inappropriate. You do. You have to be. You it's do. impossible. I keep thinking, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say, oh crap, I just said it. <laughs> I'm not, don't say penis. <laughs> penis. <laughs> yes, exactly. It really is. It's like, I can't say this. No, no. Oh, goodness. It's too good. Uh, it's too it's, good. It's too it's good. Gonna, you can't not it say is. it. I know. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Board Char- games. Charlie I'm the curious who, uh, I'm curious who, what games, board games they like playing, but... We will plan. Camden said it. She's in for it, up for it, the family game night. I kind of like Battleship. Oh, I don't like Battleship. Is, is that the stupid one where you do the stupid things Connect with four. the... Wayne, before we all live in a van, we have to learn to play cribbage because it's the perfect little portable card game Can't for two people. Oh, 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 what's cribbage? You have a little board uh, with holes and pegs, and it's a, basically a two-person card game, and you have to get to the end. I've not played Mousetrap. <laughs> oh, no. I've never He's played like, Mousetrap. Mousetrap? Candyland? Yeah, it was good. Like, I was going go to gonna say Candyland next. The Game of Life. Game of Life is pretty good. See, the board games just say eight plus. It's like no, Monopoly, thank you. But the ones that say more. eight and yeah. minus, I'm all for it. Let's eight go. minus. Suits and ladders. <laughs> Uh, Try to do Sarah. This is something we can actually do. Pickleball. Because you you know, get to say, yeah. I'm going to play pickleball. Okay. I, I've I been. I got uh, a pickleball set for Christmas. We haven't been playing it. We've been playing tennis. I'm too scared to let Wayne play pickleball because he'll never want to play tennis with me. But I've been reading <laughs> about pickleball rules. It's interesting. Hmm, There's a really? little area on the pickleball court that you can't step into and hit a ball. Like, you hmm. know, the little volley area. You can't reach into it and hit a ball that's not past a certain line it'll be oh, fine wow. I, we plan on playing pickleball this month That'd i'm cool. curious if the pickleball courts are full that's i'm also worried concerned about that there's gonna be a bunch of people because that's been a new a thing huge yeah insurgence of pickleball players so okay Dungeons and Dragons. I've always wanted to play Dungeons Cameron and Dragons. Camden is very interested. Always. No, because I saw that one episode of Community and I was like, bro. <laughs> I feel like there's a I lot of shows. I probably shouldn't base things on Community. What but I base ba- paintball on Community. <laughs> uh, let's see. Cam, are there any groups of your high school friends? That no, not at all. Even? No nope. one. Um, um, maybe like... Frank's group. I feel, oh, I feel like if you could put feelers out there, there'd probably be a group that'd let you play along for for a time. 
Yeah. There's always, we should round up every single show that has like a random Dungeons and Dragons episode. There are so many. Yeah. Where, no, but communities? Uh, communities? iZombie has one, has a couple it's episodes so good. where they're playing Dungeons and Dragons. You no, know, it looks fun. And it's just like, I don't know. For someone who doesn't like mythical type stuffs and movies and that type of stuff. The thing is, I don't think it has to be. Because you mean, can do whatever you want, can't you? Yeah, but they're not in the modern world. They're in, like, they're fighting orcs, and there's wizards, and there's elves, and there's fairies. I want to so be a they're... cute little elf. Cam's like, I just want to be an elf. I want to be a hot elf. <laughs> there's usually a hot elf. <laughs> and I will be the hot elf. Wizard for the one girl allowed into the Dungeons & Dragons group. Is the uh, hot elf. You can get some tips from whoever sent the, the comment there. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay. Interesting. Um, storm chasing. I okay. I my mom always liked watching those storm chaser chaser shows. It's terrifying to me. I don't. I'll watch a natural disaster movie, but the idea of chasing a tornado is terrifying. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. I do, why? I mean, being in a tornado. Is why? Because you it's... didn't put a sentence. You're like the one person that really, if anyone yes. needed to put an explanation. It's... A huge adrenaline rush. I'm going to Google it. It's going to be a huge adrenaline rush. And you learn about characteristics of the tornadoes and whatnot. So yeah. that you can follow them. Observe storms up close. And Have record data Twister? that you can't get any other way. Yeah. Don't do Twister, it. Twister, yeah. I, I admit, every once in a while, like, I'll watch a video about someone who's, you know, riding out a, a hurricane or something or... Storms I'm good. Personally, that's not on my bucket list. Okay, I was like, nah, not it. No Another thing we can't do, like we just can't, ice fishing. Okay. I, Wayne's mentioned it. You've mentioned ice fishing, haven't you? What I mentioned? Ice fishing. You're always like, those guys yeah. are just sitting out there with their Yeah, because poles. we were in Chicago and it was the middle of the winter and there, I, there was like a huge lake and it's completely... There's people out there and I was like, <laughs> I want to do that. I would think ice fishing is like a hundred times more fun looking than regular fishing. And I've been regular Why? fishing and it's okay. Because but I think ice fishing, ice. you just bore a hole and you stick it in there and you get a little hole fish. there. And, you, and you're cold. I you know? feel too cold. bad fishing. I did, I've done projects fun. on fishing. Uh, I definitely want to do that. I could see doing that if we go, but I'm not sure we'll be traveling in the winter. It's so hard to travel in the winter. Yeah, though. we don't really live in an ice fishing. No, area. no, I don't think there's ice fishing simulation right. here. We're gonna be able to like ice fish in our freezer <laughs> yeah. at home. Is make our own even ice like fishing Mount Charleston. Thing. Yeah, no, nothing is. There's no water. Over. No water is freezing over. Yeah, no. Here. Dad joke. Oh, ooh, ooh, Hebron ooh. twelve twelve says, "I'm a drummer and I love puns and dad jokes." Drama. So drumming is something that I know I would not be good at, but it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. Be a drummer, get chicks. Cam, what did the drummer name his two daughters? <laughs> He's like, let me think. <laughs> drummer, drummer, and a one, and a two. Oh, and a one, and a two. How unoriginal. That's for you, Hebron. Since you like that, how would you like to be the uh, number two, Anna? <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> that is horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. That'd be like we had another kid who's just Camden too. <laughs> Camden so and Camden. Bad. Okay, this is something that I should not be tempted because one, it is like probably maybe top ten most money consuming hobbies. Okay. And two, no, I can't. Collecting all the Pokemon trading cards. Oh. I've seen those things sell for over ten thousand dollars. A lot of hobbies are very expensive. That's why I like the ones that like single like cards, and whatnot. but yes, the cards because they're outdated. They don't um, make them anymore. Yeah, limited. So it's well, yeah, you Camden. Can't. If I would have bought Pokemon trading cards back when they first, I probably would have gotten and into saved it. them. You would be rich. Just be able to. We'd be be able to retire. Or I'd off be of collecting them. <laughs> She's like, I'm opening them all. Yeah. <laughs> You think I'm not good? <laughs> Who's collecting the Pokemon cards? Who's this? The Reaper Man. What's D D D P Y? What is that? Rocky D-D-P-Y. says D D P Y is a great workout, and you'll feel great. D D P Y. I googled it, and it says, "Whoa!" I'm just kidding. Diamond Dallas Page Yoga. What? What is this? 
Is I it never ex- heard of that in my life, but it, he's apparently a good workout. Diamond Dallas Page is a wrestler, a wrestler. Right? Yeah, so a wrestler basically has a yoga program now that is... We have talked yeah. about getting into yoga before, babe. Not wrestling, though. Is I mean, it? yoga in general, I'm not a fan. I've never liked oh. yoga, but I do kind of want to try it. <laughs> I'm still going off of my oh, DVP. It was life. like an up and I'm like, hey, we've talked about doing it. You're like, yeah, no, never. Oh, but want to try it. It was like a <laughs> whiplash there a little bit. <laughs> I want to try yoga. I think it'd be helpful. I need to up my flexibility. That's I'll do yoga with you. Pulled something. We'll wake up at 4 a.m. and do yoga. Yoga made me really sunrise angry. Sunrise yoga. Sunrise oh. yoga. I want to do sunrise. I guess that's tai chi. Yeah, similar. You could do tai chi. Just get your body moving a little yeah. bit. Nope. Nope. Yoga, yoga made me really angry. I did yoga with a friend. It's like it's supposed to be the opposite. Play guitar. Why in like would the hotel it make room you... and the whole day I was just like. Why would it make really you angry? What? what? It made me really angry. What? He's it like, was I funny. Had, like I, I was real. Up early into this. So... I was irritable uh, all day. Oh, here we go again. Here's the common uh, theme: play guitar, play guitar, get chicks. Yes, play guitar, get chicks. <laughs> it's just like my type. I dated a lot of guitar skater skater types. Origami doing men. Or- origami. <laughs> um, um. Uh, we don't drink, so but SP Chambone USA says you should try home brewing because it saves a lot of money in the long run. I I feel like it's quite interesting. I think that yeah. We don't drink, but I have talked about it would be fun to be a bartender. I wouldn't oh, mind yeah. learning yeah, yeah, mixology yeah. and learning yeah. how to mix drinks. No, you're in the right city for it. I could be a bartender. You I'm good at talking to people. Two weeks class, bam. They'd be like, gotta go get some Alice advice tonight. And I'd be, I mean, you can do something. Yeah. Do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. <gasps> I want to be like a known bartender. Yeah, I could be a bartender. Yeah. Cam and I, next step, bartending. So. They have mixology as a major. In my... Yeah. I gotta be 21. I want a 3D printer. <sighs> yeah, that's. Ed Bish says ninety nine. Ed Bish ninety nine says three D three D printing is fun and cool, and you get to make stuff. And I and I really think it looks, Didn't looks like a lot of fun. Didn't we offer away a three D printer? You make action figures. No, we. Uh, my sister and her husband have a three D printer, and it's cool. They have made some really cool stuff, like little um, cookie cutters yeah. and things for the plants and little toys. Yeah, it takes a long time to print stuff. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. How long does it take to print, like, a There's cookie certain, cut? Like, something, big stuff takes, you know, a day or... It's expensive, no? And it's fairly expensive. The original upfront cost of like printer the... is expensive. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much the filament is. Uh, there are a lot of hobbies at the upfront cost. And people have to, like, paint things. a little prohibitive. And stuff to get them to actually... They are so cool. You have to, yeah, it's cool, but it's if like we, If we find them. something we want printed, we just have to tell my sister. Beggar. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Jokes. I mean, uh, she's taken up a lot of crafts now. She has, like, the Cree Cut machine and all those that she can do all these special things with. So she's like, everyone's just going to get this homemade stuff, which is awesome. You just use your computer. Yeah. You make 3D renderings. And Vending Dad Jokes made a Polaroid camera. And out came a graham cracker. Then he was like, an Instagram, you know. <laughs> but... He made it. 3D printer made a Polaroid camera. It was kind of cool. Like, wow. obviously, it's not functional, but it's graham cracker. comes out like a picture. How he cool. He pushes the button. So it's a graham cracker dispenser shaped like nice. a Polaroid camera. <laughs> yeah. Quite interesting. Oh, this is so valid. Play Nintendo Zelda games. Who is it? Dan. Call me. Dan, Dan T. Dizzle. Dan. Dan. It's my life goal. I gotta replay. I gotta beat them all from the start. I gotta do it. I wonder. I should start now. Oh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, because the Breath of the Wild is coming out in May. Yeah, you gotta start now. Um, you gotta start now. Yeah, so maybe I should. I'm not gonna be able to get them all done in a few months, but I want to start on my journey of beating all of the Zelda. Aren't you gonna read the Breath of the Wild? First? I want to. I really want to. Why don't you? I I need to. Do it. I gotta do it. It's a must. It's a must. It's a must. Me. Read manga. Camden has her manga. Yeah. What? So manga is just a comic or just a graphic novel. Um. Japanese. It's mostly what anime is based off of. Okay, an anime. It's like the book made into the thingy. I went to uh, 
I want to read the Walking Dead graphic comics. That manga? Yeah. Is it a manga? I don't know. It's Is not it? Japanese. Oh, no. But it was the original, whatever the Walking Deads are based off of. And it's like a graphic comic. Um, long. Borrowed from some. my brother in law. Fishing. It isn't about winning. It is about fun. I'll do it in Animal Crossing. I'm never doing it in real life. <laughs> I hate it in Animal I actually prefer it in real life to Animal Crossing. Because it was what? something I did with my grandpa, with my mom. But, like, you feel bad now. I don't. I don't eat fish. Well, so. it's also the world's changed. The ocean's changed since then. Yeah. The fish If I was camping, if I was living off-grid, I'd definitely be a fisher person, probably. Really? Yeah. Huh. Even though I don't make sushi. <laughs> yeah, what? What? Okay, that's a waste. That's just a waste. <laughs> uh, poetry. Mm. Okay. Cam's like, uh, you used to like the poetry. Well, see, I like BSing my teachers. <laughs> poetry was ruined for me because it was too easy. <laughs> too easy. Because no one actually cared about it. Like, if I was in a class where people actually cared, the teacher actually cared, I could tell my teacher didn't care at all. Like, it would be like, the chicken is in the trees, and you could be like, this is a metaphor for death, because yeah, trees so are dark. Yeah, basically said every single thing was a metaphor for death. Yeah, I did, <laughs> and and my teacher, like, almost shed tears. She was like, this is <laughs> brilliant. I took poetry, a, a certain type of poetry class in college, and when they are more interested in it, it's definitely more immersive. But I still don't like, you know, being critiqued on how yeah, you but, interpret a poem. Yeah. But writing poetry, I could see. Well, you can't... Isn't the whole point not to be really t- critiqued on a poem? Because it's... I don't know. There's like... I don't know. Poetry's cool. Poetry's cool. Um, more Dungeons and Dragons. What? Interesting. <laughs> what, Cam? Someone said photography. Sometimes you get to see boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right? And then it's art. It's just art. Naked people yeah, are art. It is art. Like, I could have a nude painting or a nude sculpture or something like that, and it's just art. It's true. Sometimes you get to see boobs. I like it. That person follows the instructions. They convince. So valid. Convinced. I'm convinced. (laughs) Um, Archery was single-handedly one of the best experiences I got to try out before. It was amazing. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I'll give it another try. You got to try it again. You got to try it again. Come on. Think about how cool I would be. If you would I, look really cool. I would look so cool. Yeah. Oh my god. This, <laughs> and the Zelda cosplay would hit way different. Yeah. Actually... That's right. <laughs> Cam's gonna try archery. Oh yeah. That'd be cool. How do you even do that now though? I'm not there's in a school places. where there's, there's like an after school program. Go. That was legit though. I should have <laughs> done that. I did bowling. Cam did bowling. Instead. Which is a little different. I feel like Camden's first bowling of the year she did decent and then after that it was like nothing. No, I was decent. Kind of. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Not really. Uh, anyway. What else you got, Wayne? Pro- Jerry says axe throwing. Mm. Oh, my God. I've gosh. seen people do the axe throwing. Okay, they sell a backyard axe throwing type oh boy. situation at Costco now. Yeah, that's... It's like a plastic one and it goes into like a... Oh, it's plastic. Oh, okay. I was say involuntary manslaughter to the neighbor <laughs> next door. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not throwing it with our backyard kitties. I miss. We got cats. Yeah, we, yeah. we have but a I, I, dangerous I, stuff in our backyard. Have you ever watched a show, right, or you're watching a show where they're throwing a knife and it, like, goes right into something or they're throwing an axe? And, like, it, it, you yeah, want to try it, right? Like, you want to try no. it. Yeah. I want to try I'm it. I'm too scared to cut vegetables. The, the, those, um, little, those little rooms, yeah. you go in them and you... <laughs> I would like to try it to see if I could do it. I mean, I don't think it's that hard. I've seen a lot of people no, that I know get bullseyes. No, it is hard. Oh, they have rooms here. I can yeah. just throw it. No, because then if you hit it on, I've seen them try to do these types of things on Amazing Race and whatnot, and they go to throw it, and then it hits the handle or something, it and bounces it just bounces off. right off. Scary. It's harder than it looks. That's scary, scary. I did a lot of axe throwing in Red Dead Redemption. Oh, you're That's an expert, great. babe. I'm thinking maybe <laughs> <laughs> I'd be good at crocheting. Shane Dean says very common, relaxing. It's kind of like knitting. Oh yeah, I was going to mention knitting is one of the things. It's built in where you can always give a gift to somebody. You can always knit something, whether it's appreciated or not. But knitting toys and crocheting has the cutest little toy patterns. So I got to learn how to crochet. 
programming lets you set the rules to your own world. Wow. You it's smart cool. girl. That's you get chicks. Ch- God. <laughs> no time for chicks. Programming what? is like a... Oh my God. What's manga? That's just... Manga sad. We were just talking about it. It's the same as anime? What's the difference? It's a, it's a comic. It's, yeah. It's just a comic? It's a... Anime comic? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good at that. We, I don't know we if talked about that five minutes ago. Yeah, dude. we yeah, Internet Explorer over here. Um, <laughs> programming's cool. I had that one little. I'm not listening to you. That, what was it called? Fetch. I don't remember. Cam had the little kid programming thing, and then Cam yeah, went to the Amazon. Fun and cute. Um, whatever, where they gave you some. Yeah, and that was also fun and cute. Um, but it, it's hard. Yeah, Once you get past the, the little three little levels yeah. they give my, you, where my you brain doesn't work. Go that left, way. right, uh, up. So I have, and then oh, it's like, okay, now we have numbers. A lot of respect <laughs> for people who can program. Oh yeah, extremely. That is something I will never be able to do, um, ever. Okay, um, I have no idea what this is. Flint snapping. Break rocks into what you want. Huh? What is that? Break rocks into what you want. I don't know. Is it just like... Is it like chiseling? I, yeah. Back in Maybe. the day, you'd go rock hounding, rock hunting, and you'd find ones that look like, you know, agates and break them open to see if they are inside mm. uh, geodes and things. You look for that perfectly cool egg-shaped round type rock. Break it open. Disc golf. Okay, frisbee golf. Wait, what's disc golf? You know, okay, there's a few disc golf courses here in Vegas. You walk around and you throw your frisbee and you get into that little chain net thing. No? I have no idea what that is. I've never seen that. I don't think so. We've walked by him before. Maybe. Um, That's something you do at the park. Yeah, disc golf. I'm terrible at throwing a frisbee. Different subject, but I do want to try top golf, which a lot of my friends do, which is basically you just hit the ball as hard as you Happy Gilmore. You don't actually golf. You don't actually, you know, have you seen it? Why are you giving me that face? It's not even more rich people. That's more rich people. It's a driving course or whatever. Isn't that more rich people? It's like you do it into like a fake little projection of a screen or something or what? It's just like a, I don't know what it is exactly, but it's like people get, people drink and they hit the ball as hard as they can. Yeah, it's a fake little (laughs) thing. Is it called a drive? Driving and usually range. they Driving it's range. so expensive and yeah. you have a view like of like cool something views. or something. Yeah, okay, cool wait, views. you tell us how it goes. That's a Okay, have fun. Uh, oh, I have to say I'll this go again. By myself. You will. Archery again. You don't need to come it's with fun, me. It's fun, healthy, you can feel like Katniss or Robin Hood and a good good for a zombie pop. Excellent. Hey, they they hit every single point that we just said. Delta. Yeah. Okay, so uh who was this? <laughs> Dave. Good job, Dave. Good job, Dave. A plus assignment. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. I feel like Camden is really like thinking she needs to go. There's places that have uh, archery classes and do one. I'm really interested. Okay. That'd be cool. Come on. Self defense. <laughs> the best form of self defense is far long range. Um, I don't know how that works. Do you need a license to carry? Uh, probably certain um, types of crossbows, but. How does that even work? <laughs> Can you just, like, go to Target and... What? <laughs> I don't even know how that works. I gotta Google. Yeah, Cam's now gonna research archery. archery. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's how Wig says photography. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. And you're a pretty good photographer. I did do photography when I had the blog, and I, I did enjoy doing photography. Without the reason of boobs? Yeah. That's a yeah, yeah. Points off for that one. It is, though. You can literally get artwork for your house... For cheap, you're not paying someone else to take that photo <laughs> of your family or the mountains. The mountains. Um, fencing. Fencing. What? My mom did fencing in you college. You can hit she someone with a it. sword, and it's okay. Interesting. So, like fencing, uh, I, I and it's know. exercise. Ah. Yeah, I could do that. I feel like it could be fun. Yeah. I feel like it could be fun. I could see Wayne. It's kind of like sword Wayne fighting. Princess bread. Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Learn how to do that. Wayne, uh, do you have any hobbies that you'd like to add into the bench and convince us to try or convince our listeners to try? And we already tackled skateboarding. Skateboarding? I mean, that was the only thing I ever really did. <laughs> Watching 80s movies. Movies. <laughs> Watching movies. Let me, th- let me think on that. 
I like this. I like this one. Telling jokes to your kids. <laughs> no. Don't do it. We don't need more of this in the world. <laughs> drumming. You get to hit stuff with sticks. See, I've never been in- interested in drumming, but I like hitting things. Yeah. With sticks. I think that... That's a good, good <laughs> convincing <laughs> argument there. I recommend Lego. I'm Tycho. Oh, Lego. Yeah, building oh, any yeah, Lego, Lego puzzles. Any oh, kind of puzzles. like mind building. Yeah, those I like are all those good. Kind of thing. Those but Lego good. is a lot of fun. It's good stress reliever. It's good for anxiety. It is fun. It's expensive hobby. So if you're looking for some similar idea, like puzzles are a lot cheaper. And then you get oh. the whole like, I did that at I the end. My... Yeah. I made that. Okay. This is something I've been wanting to do. And like, I don't even know how to do it. Playing the piano. Oh, man, the instruments. I'm excited. We could have a band with the listeners here. Piano is something I've wanted to do for, like, ever. Another thing to take lessons. But if you but put your mind so to a camp, I know you'll be able to do it. Yeah, but you can you got to buy a piano thingy, a keyboard. Yeah. And keyboards are expensive. Yeah, hobbies are expensive. Hob- a lot yeah, of these hobbies, hobbies are, expensive. are expensive. What? Interesting. I would like to try cooking. That's what I was going to say. Cooking and baking. Those are hobbies that you're already investing money into food. And you can <coughs> save yourself a lot of money by making stuff. It's good. At home. And so, I thought I wanted to go on Worst Cooks in America so I could actually like it learn. It would be great. And come home and make something for you guys, like for real. It becomes kind of like a puzzle, too. And if you're shopping things that are on sale that week, like if we go to the grocery store where certain vegetables are on sale that week... You're coming up with something using this meat that's on sale and these vegetables. Yeah, shopping too. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. It's fun. Paintball. Kill without killing. With the smiley face. (laughs) (laughs) The the smiley face helps. The very, it's like the colon uh, capital D too. (laughs) It's like the, (laughs) I like that. Um, I'm too scared to go paintball. I'm also scared. Have you ever been paintballing? Yeah, it hurts. Really? Yeah. I'm scared yeah, now. I know. It, it I hurts and you got like welts on you. It's not, not like. I know. I saw you get hit by a tennis ball and it was you like literally. Be far, if world. you're far enough of away, it can be fun. If you like. I had a huge bruise from a your tennis flag, ball. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a lot of fun, especially if you like playing capture the flag and those kind yeah. of games. You know what I mean? I don't. But it's because it's like, I like stealth. You know how? So I like my Hitman game and stuff. Yeah. Because you like mm-hmm. hiding behind something and then. I I'd played be terrible laser at tag. I sucked at it. I got laser shot right tag. away. I, I was played so laser bad tag laser with a group tag. of guys, and it was like the most adrenaline rush thing because they were just so into it. I was like, it's not, it's not <laughs> that serious, right? Are we okay? Are we dying? <laughs> like, wait, what? Are these, uh, we used to shoot each other with BB guns <laughs> when I was growing up. I'm boys. But if you're far enough boys. away, it didn't even hurt that bad. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, boys. Yeah, oh, and, boys. Oh, boys. Uh, yeah, that's a boy thing. <laughs> But yeah, paintball. If hurts. I was good it at hurts. it, I could see it being fun. I didn't but expect I it to hurt I'd that bad. What paintball? Yeah, like community. Because if I was good enough enough, I wouldn't get hit. Like community. I know the community paintball episodes are literally amazing. Stick to it laser is tag. So okay. great. Doesn't I hate hurt. laser tag. I'd you rather just light up. No, 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 no. I'm dead. I hate laser tag. But it's it's and that that's the thing is I don't like laser tag, so I don't think I'd like paintball. Yeah. Laser tag is already scary enough because you're in the dark and people get so into it, like. God, playing laser tag with a group of boys is an experience. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It's something. It's something. Buy dog, walk it. Dogs, <laughs> animals are the best. Yes. Yeah. Hobby. Collecting cats. Yeah. I recommend everybody try that at least five times. <laughs> five times at once. Yep, five times. <laughs> Um, more people said paintball. Uh-uh. Oh my uh-uh. gosh, uh-uh. you had the paintball crew. But now. that episode, of, those episodes of Community? I know, the, the Community episodes the community are episodes the top really tier like episodes. episodes. If I had, like, full on armor. <laughs> also, I heard in Vegas you have to do it outside. Yeah, you do Who it outside. Who in their right mind would want to do that outside in Vegas? Well, I mean, most of the months of the year you can do it outside. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> Camden still doesn't get it. You didn't convince her. See, the thing is, you have to... Put on, uh, okay. The colon capital D almost convinced me. The almost. smiley, the little smiley. Um, because I would want full armor, and that's gonna be hot. And we're in <laughs> Vegas, and it's hot, no matter what season it is. And you're outside, covered in She's paint. She's not convinced. Someone take Camden paintballing. Just protect your face. You'll be good. No, you gotta protect a, a lot of things. Well, I'm still not sure about paintball. Yeah. No. 
Any other final ones you thought of at all, Wayne? How about you, Cam? Mm, a game. Animal Crossing is a Gaming. hobby. Animal Crossing is a hobby. It is. When you start a project in Animal Crossing, it takes months to finish. It really does. It takes a very long time. Follow your dreams. Because That's sleeping is hobby. amazing. Right. I love sleeping. Oh, sleeping. Yeah, you're sleeping. Skater boy quotes. You're a... Sleep. What's his name? Follow them one dreams guy and you sleep. Of- uh, a tattoo. I think a lot of people said mine. I like the walking ones. I really like the, you know, crochet, knitting, and cooking uh, ones. I think the people who yeah. convinced us, the playing an instrument, it's it's quite appealing. I've always Definitely wanted to play It's not that. good for the deaf. Uh, and Archery, honestly. I think I'm going to adopt the person who said board games. We've got to start doing a family game night. We do. We yeah. can, we so can play. We can do that. We can play Smash. you you got to play Smash so you can... Um, yeah, no, you. If Dad's playing Monopoly, you're playing Smash. Smash? You want to play Smash? I'll play Dr. Mario. Tetris, not Smash. I hate Smash Brothers. I love puzzle games. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't like Dr. Mario that much. Cameron gonna... was definitely love them. about archery. Or strategy. I'm going to be, be a hot archer thing. girl, man. I would, that'd be so cool. And I'm I could surprised that how little... many people really came with the archery. Yeah. There's a green back. Lot. Yeah, there are. Yeah. What? Nintendo. Nintendo. Uh, Wayne is going to try the martial arts. I think that's what Wayne will try for I am. I was actually thinking about that, honestly. Like, just Krav Maga or, you know, I don't know about it. I love kickboxing. But something that, like, is good for the mind. Yeah. And also, uh, you know, who knows? It's never too late to start. That's true. I can yep. be a black belt when I'm 63. You could be. Yeah. <laughs> you really could be. And I love hearing what everyone does. I love hearing what everyone does to keep themselves Who doesn't want to be John claude Van Damme? I mean, come on. No one said taking up listening to this podcast. Oh, wait. What, remember I told you I was going to how to do the splits. Oh, wow. And I'm going to record it. So once I start actually doing it, it'll be like day, day, one. day one of doing the splits. Ah, and then day two and day three His and day legs, five. And however way, long it'll take one foot until apart. I can actually do the splits. Mm-hmm. That's the update for people who can't see him. His legs were about 12 inches apart. <laughs> this will help me in my emotional life. <laughs> it will help you. Uh, we're going to enjoy the rest of our staycation. And you guys have a great night. Great week. Yes. Yes. We'll be seeing you next week, as always, on the live streams. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.